Good morning and welcome to this morning's pet memorial service back in our own temple. I am Jan Sozaki and I will be the chairperson for this morning and we will be remembering our beloved pets who have passed away before us. If you have not submitted your pet remembrance, you may still join in by sharing a picture or memory of your pet later in the service. We will start with the tolling of the conch show, followed by chanting of Sangu Tsugen. For those viewing from home, please use your own Satan or the service materials that were included in the email with the Zoom link. Ah, Oh, 
ずから大に消えし、たてまつる。まさに願わくは、史上と共に、各胸像に入りて、千海のごとくならぬ。自らす、大に消えし、たてまつる。まさに願わくは、史上と共に、大衆を通りして、一切脱げならぬ。無常人人未明の方は百千万合にも愛をこと形し割り負けんもんし敵することを得たり願わくは如来の真実儀を下し立てまつらんのまんだ Three treasures Ours is to be born into human life Now we are living in Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the blessed one Now we hear it If we do not deliver ourselves in the present life, no hope is there that we shall be free from the suffering and sorrow in the ocean of birth and death. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I put my faith in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of thy way to enlightenment and awaken in ourselves thy supreme will. I put my faith in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of thy doctrine and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. <clears throat> I put my faith in Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in thy life of harmony, in a spirit of universal family freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through mere ages of myriads of countless hearts to hear an excellent, profound, and wonderful doctrine, now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of Tathagata's teachings. Please be seated. We will now have our Dharma message by Reverend Ray. Hi, everybody. It's been a long time. I have to kind of like apologize because I really do. Buddha loves, loves you. I just I misplaced the words. It's been a long time. And plus, I couldn't figure out how to turn on the lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tom. He's the one that told me. No. Uh, you know, before I start, I'd just like to tell you that, um, you know, I shared sh sh a moment to make us remember that yesterday was the day of remembrance. And I don't know if you remember what that is. That was the day that uh, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066. And it's a day we hope will never be forgotten in our history, and a day that we all can learn from. Now, uh, to today's service. Uh, what I was trying to do in, you know, thinking about today is a pet service, right? Well, this is my first pet service sermon, so you have to bear with me. Uh, I've done hojis, our memorial services for pets. I've never really done a funeral, but I have done a hoji. And one of the one of the things that uh, we have to think about is, and why I did it, is that you know we gratefully remember the animals who provided us with companionships as our pet. We also show appreciation to the plants that support us. In Chishu, it's not only just you know pets and animals and such as all sentient forms, and who knows what a sentient form is. So rather than say no, we say why not? And so we do it. You know, we gratefully remember the animals who provide us with the companionships. Again, uh, we even appreciate the flowers on the Onaiji for their giving us purpose. You know, they're bringing us joy by being here. It also reminds us that life is transient. You know, as Shin Buddhists, we recite Namo Amida Butsu, or Onem Butsu, right? An expression of gratitude for the salvation that we will receive. But what does that matter to our pets? You know? <laughs> does it even matter? So why bother with the memorial for services for pets at a time? Well, for one thing, the vow to save all sentient forms, you know, our Namo Amida Butsu, uh, is a universal service. It's a universal vow to leave no one behind. Okay? Uh, 
to our pets, or it means dog, the owner is the object of reverence, if you think of it that way. Whole men are skillful, are expedient beings. You know, that's the way the Buddha kind of like transmits to us without us knowing it. Uh, it's a way to express to the pets the wisdom and compassion of Amida Buddha through us. We transmit that to the pets. You know, a joy reminds us that memorial services are not a time to be sad. Rather, it's a time to be grateful in commemoration of those that have passed. For the lives, meaning that they had brought to us was their life as they interacted with us. You know, pet falls in the same category because they have interacted with our lives and interfaced with us for all those years that you've had. You know, it's the essence of their being. You know, be it an aloof cat, and cats are aloof, or a pet goldfish, that doesn't seem to care at all except when you feed them. Or a slobbering dog. You know, the overflowing of love that dogs show their owners. They have affected our lives and have become part of a shared karmic destiny, if you will. Now, let me explain one thing uh, that most people should be aware of. Funerals and memorial services are not for those left behind. And not those who have died. The dead ones are dead, you know, and have already been embraced by the great vessels of truth. The same is true for pets. The importance of funerals and memorial services to honor and remember those who have, have been part of our lives, a chance to mourn, to be sad, and honor those memories that brought us joy as they lived and provided us with loving companionship. Have you ever cried at a service for the deceased? Or at a memory of a time past would bring a tear to your eyes? You know, think of this as proof that those who have passed have not gone, but rather they have become part of you that will never be lost. A loss rekindled emerging with each tear you shed. How many of you have heard the animation Popo? You know, <laughs> I actually watched it. It's a very good film if you haven't seen it. Uh, and you remember the song, Remember Me? You know, I, I, I'll give you the option. Do you think I should play the song on my, you know, so that you can hear it? Or do you think uh, uh, you can just, okay, well, I will play it. Just one second. So I brought my telephone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to do the sad version, but first, but first they're, they're making me play a, a, a uh, here it is. Remember that? No, If you remember anyone 
that's the proof they're still with you. They haven't really gone away. Uh, it, it's interesting is how close, um, you know, tears can actually show what your, your true feelings are. You know, for example, my sister, uh, she's older than me by uh, about three years. And like I say, she'll turn 80 this year. And uh, when her pet died, she would cry. <clears throat> Yet, when my uncle, who was kind of distant, I mean, when we were young, we used to interface with him a lot, she wouldn't. It didn't. That tells you how close pets can be. The, you know, so, so for each of us to remember, just let the love we have live on and know that I'm with you. The only way that I can be. So until you're in my arms again, remember me. And those arms are in the great ocean of truth as we reunite. Not as we were, but as we have become. We will never meet each other as we were. But it is joyful to know that we will be together once again in the great ocean of truth. So every time you shed a tear, it's proof that in our hearts, they are still there. So remember me. Thank you. And at this time, I'd actually like to recite uh, the Hakot show, the letter on white ashes. Why? Because I think it's very appropriate for us to read it now. How are we on time? Okay, then I will read it first in in <laughs> Japanese and then in English. You know, this is the the reason within your show you hate that he wrote this was because in a short span of time I get I think within a couple of years he lost three people. You know, I think two daughters and his wife. So for him, it's very painful, meaningful that he write this because it expresses his complete feeling on this great change we call death. Sore ningen no pusho naru so tsura tsura kanburu ni およそ知らず遅れ先立つ人はもう一つの生きがく世話の煙と虫果てぬれば、ただ白骨の溝の子で、やわれと言うも、なかなか愚かなり。それは人間の儚きことは老少不浄の境なれば、誰の人も早く御生の一大事にかけて。涙
When I deeply contemplate the transient nature of human existence, I realize that from the beginning to end, life is impermanent, like an illusion. We have not yet heard of anyone who had lived 10,000 years. How fleeting is a lifetime? Who in this world today can maintain a human form for even a hundred years? There is no knowing whether I will die first or others, whether death will occur today or tomorrow. We depart one after another more quickly than the dew drops on the roots of the tips of the blades of grasses. So it is said. Hence, we may have radiant faces in the morning, but by evening, we turn into white ashes. Once the winds of impermanence have blown, our eyes are instantly closed and our breath stops forever. Then our radiant face changes its color, and the attractive countenance like peach and plum blossoms is lost. Family and relatives will gather and grieve, but all to no avail. Since there is nothing else that can be done, they carry the deceased out to the fields, and then what is left after the body has been created and turned into midnight smoke is just white ashes. Words fail to describe the sadness of it all. Thus, the ephemeral nature of human existence is such that death comes to young and old alike without discrimination. So we should all quickly take to the heart the matter of the greatest importance of the afterlife, and trust ourselves deeply to Amida Buddha and recite the Nemesis. Humbly and respectfully. You know, thank you for listening to that. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei, for your message. We will now have the reading of the six paramitas. Roku Haramits. Mihotokya sama no mi kokoro ni kachikae dasete itadaite. Itotsu kyo ichisitsu.清らかな眼は温かい情け、つつましい Six paramitas, turning our thoughts to the Buddha. Let us throughout the day live with clear eyes and warm hearts and humble attitude. Let us throughout the day not become angry. Let us throughout the day not utter words of discontent, dissatisfaction, and untruth. Let us throughout the day do our daily work with all our power. Let us throughout the day rejoice in the love and compassion of the Buddha who is constantly watching over us day and night. Let us throughout the day repeat the holy name. Namo Amida. We will now take time to remember our beloved pets. Many of you submitted photos of your pets, and Ranji has compiled this slideshow in their memory. And I will now call out the names of the families who would like to remember their pets. Um, first, we have the Ozaki family. Okay, um, my family would just like to remember our dogs, Cassie and Katie, and our hamsters, Hammy One and Hammy Two, who, who all brought joy to our lives. We'll always remember you. Next, we have the Tokidio family. Okay, I wanted to um, remember our 
two two pets. Our first was Gizmo. He was our first dog in our family, and um, he was. Remember Ray talked about cats and how they are. He was. I used to call her um, my Gizmo cat because she was. She was just like a cat, but we loved her so much. Got a lot of happiness in our lives. And our second um, dog was Jocko, and Jocko was Vicky's dad's uh, dog. <clears throat> and after he passed away, we adopted Jocko. And he lived many years with us. He's a very gentle soul, and uh, we miss him very much too. So thank you very much for letting us remember him both. Yes, I remember those two too. We have many Girl Scout leader names at that baby's house. Uh, now we have the Ishida family. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon Ishida, and this is our little kitty Thomas. It's been a short time, a while since uh, Thomas passed away in October of last year. And I've had many, many kitties throughout my life, but this has been the most difficult one. And I think it's because uh, he was our last, or so I say. Um, I, have, I have a message or a poem that I hope I can share with all of you. And I'm hoping that it will make sense or bring some understanding to all of you who are here today. Or perhaps you can uh, think of some very pleasant memories about your pet. But most of all, I'm hoping that it brings you peace. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be sharing this poem with you. Thomas is gone, and it pains me to say he won't be here throughout my day. My thoughts worry about him. A scared kitty was he. Any sound startled him, a feeling of disparity. Where has my Thomas gone? Is he safe or at peace? Is he with his brother, laughing, smiling, and free? I still see his paw prints impressed in the rug, love marks where he laid, cuddled like a bug. He used to turn the corner, peeking out to say, Feed me, Mama, it's that time of the day. My imagination is working overtime. I feel his spirit at play. He follows me everywhere to let me know he's here for the day. I smile when he's in my dreams and I comfortingly say, please come lay next to me as you need, as you used to every day. It's been a short while since Thomas has been gone. I have inconsolable feelings. I know I'm not wrong. Is he in my mom's safekeeping, playing, rolling and leaping? Is his spirit in our home, a safe haven always to roam? I keep calling out to him, but there's no one there but me. Death is final, a physical change in my life. I want to see him, hear him, and hold him tight. Will I see him in my afterlife? What will happen when I'm gone? Please show me the way since, and send me answers from above. Then I remembered. I listened to our Reverend Corey's message. He was talking to his son. Where is there a safe place? A safe place is like water. It adapts to its surrounding, calmly changing form without anyone noticing, spread out on a lake <clears throat> or contained in a cup, going with the flow with whatever it touches. The safest place for Thomas is his spirit is a part of me. The love we share will bond us, never to be separated from me. I'll need to adapt to change, a natural phenomenon of life. No more holding Thomas in my arms, letting time be the healer of all kinds. Thomas is within my heart, all the love and compassion he showed me, all his loyalty he gave me, and all his precious pictures and memories I'll have as my keepsake everlasting. Thank you, Thomas, for all the time we spent together. You are part of me. I would cherish the time we had together. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sharon. That was really nice. Uh, next, we have the Mayetta family. Thank you for putting this together. I'm hoping I can keep this together. Uh, okay.
This is Maya. Maya came into our lives in March of 2004. She was only eight weeks old. We brought her home thinking she would be great pet therapy for our dad, who was then diagnosed with cancer. Maya ended up saving us all with her unconditional love and loyalty for close to 18 years. Many say how lucky Maya was to have us. However, we were the lucky ones. We love you, Maya. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then we have the Anolito Rosengrant family. Hi, uh, Roxy, we call her Miss Roxy Rosengrant. And she was our little love bug and she passed away uh, March 2020 during the pandemic of cancer. Uh, she was a pure joy and full of playfulness and grew up with our Katie. And the photo is her with my paper shower cap after one of the, after I got home from one of the temple events. And I thought it would be okay to make her an honorary Fujinkai member. And we miss her and are grateful that she was part of our family for 15 years. Thanks. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, now we have the Yamaguchi family. Yeah, that's a sweet picture. <laughs> uh, as I was sitting here listening to everyone, uh, it brought back memories of when we we're looking for a pet. Actually, the kids were going, I want a dog, I want a dog. <laughs> so one day we went, uh, it was the kids and myself, Greg and Allison, and we went just to look at right, that West, La, West LA uh, animal shelter. And uh, a few hours later, uh, we come home with a dog. That was punchy. Um, animals are so, so, I don't know, special, but different. It's almost like uh, she was human. Uh, at the time, we had bought, uh, or I had bought, a little dog pen to put her in. And so when we put her in to get adjusted to that, it only took her five minutes to figure her way out of it. There was no way she was going to, she wanted to be in the house. So she ended up being the house dog. <laughs> um, had more human characteristics than one could believe. Um, she was with us, I guess, for almost 14, 15 years. Um, so thank you for many years of memories. Um, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, at this time, are there any others who would like to offer uh, remembrances of their pets? remember all of the pets we've had over the years, uh, the many, many cats, uh, 14 in all, um, and uh, with all due respect for every way, uh, cats are not aloof. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, we had the cockatiel, we had a rabbit, lots and lots of fish, snails, and a frog. So you are all a part of our family, and the memories of having you in our lives will always be with us. Okay, thank you everybody for sharing the memories of your pets. I mean, we all know how special they are and um, that's why we decided to have these, these pet memorial services and we invite all of you to participate every year. Thank you. Thank you to those who submitted a photo or shared a memory. And a big thank you to Ranji for compiling the slideshow. Okay, are there any announcements? You may unmute yourself if you wish to make an announcement. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody. Okay, let me start then. So, 
Thank you, Judy and Ron, for putting together the, the pet memorial. That was, and thank you to everybody who shared your pictures and stories. That was just really beautiful and nice. You know, I know our pets always become part of us. I did find one. I was, I was debating on whether to share this one. So our dog passed away 35 years ago. So this is the only picture I have of him. And he's not groomed and he looks horrible, but um, he's doing what he always liked doing. So if you see, that's our pet, Coco. And his favorite thing was eating food. And he's eating a corn on the cob. And so that was one of his favorite activities. He would stand on his hind legs and put his paw on the cob and eat it. I know that's not good for the dog, but um, he was quite a character and we got a lot of enjoyment out of him. So um, this is a nice tribute that we always get to do every year. And so thank you all for being part of that. And uh, thanks for submitting your uh, tributes and your pictures as well. Um, while we're on the thank yous, thank you to Reverend Ray Fukumoto for uh, taking time out to be with us today. Uh, and then thank you to our chairperson, Jan Ozaki, and our AV crew is uh, Carrie and Ron, and Judy for playing the organ. So thank you to all of you again. And just a few announcements. So we're still at the temple. So next Sunday, we'll do the Project Bombu drawing along with our Tsukitsui to Hoyo service. So if you'd like to come in person for service, you still may do so, and please come to the temple. That's on the 27th, and we'll be doing our senior Donna deliveries that day as well. Uh, and then on the 28th, barring some unexpected delay, they will start to remove the roof and replace it for the temple. So. Uh, the project will finally get started on the 28th and the temple will be closed at least that first week. Um, so we don't want anybody to get hurt. There's going to be roof shingles flying all over the place and things. So um, you can uh, find something else to do that week. On March 6th, right now, the plan is we will have the service, our Sunday service at uh, the VJCC. So if you would like to go in person, you may do so. Otherwise, I will continue to offer that on Zoom. Uh, for that time, so February 1st and probably February the 8th, we will not have Tuesday morning service. Uh, and then we'll go week by week to decide when we uh, when we can re-enter the temple again. So we'll just keep you posted on that. Uh, March 13th, the BC, so March 11, 12, and 13, the Buddhist Church of America is having their national meetings that we all participate in, all the temples of the BCA get together once a year to, to discuss. So it's a virtual meeting. But on the 13th, which is a Sunday, they're going to have their annual national Atai Kyo service. So instead of having our own Sunday service, we'll send the invitation out and everyone can join the BCA service that day. And that will be also by Zoom. So there will be a link coming for that. Um, and then just a couple other announcements. So we have our caregiver initiative that was supposed to launch on the 28th. We've pushed it back because of the roof project. So we're looking at probably March 14th or the 21st, I think those are Mondays, uh, to kick off. If you want to sign up or you need, or uh, you know someone that either is involved in arranging care, providing care for a loved one, or is a caregiver, uh, it's free to sign up. And uh, yeah, I'm just typing the email address. They can just send us that they'd like to join our uh, caregiver initiative on the 14th. The plan is we will be giving out what we call a caregiver survival kit, which is a kit for the caregiver to just feel good for a day and take time out. So if you know someone in the area, one of the things that we're looking to do is we'll be setting up like a forum where people can share information and ideas and feelings uh, about their caregiving and, and hopefully get some information out of it too. And so this is our project that is in part funded by the Cato Grants Program. And so we're hoping to really get a, get a good sign up. We already have a um, we have a little more than 25 people signed up so far. So we're gonna keep that growing. So just spread the word. Like I said, it's free to join. So we welcome anybody uh, to participate. On April 3rd is our Hanamatsuri service. We will be having our Hatsumaibi um, ceremony at that time. It will be virtual. So what we're going to do is in, in the end of March, it's on a Saturday and a couple Sundays, we'll be taping the families having their individual ceremonies. And then through the magic of Ron's video editing, we will uh, make the official ceremony presentation during the Hanamatsuri service. And uh, so that's on April 3rd. It's not too late to sign up. So if you know someone who has a young one, 
uh, who'd like to be presented to the Buddha and to the Sangha for the first time, um, you can just email the temple or call the temple. We'll arrange a time uh, for them to, to come. It's very exciting. We already have seven babies that will be joining us for this. So uh, there's always room for more. So just let us know if there's anybody else that would like to uh, take part. Okay, I think that's all I have today. So thank you. Okay, this is Claire again. Um, on behalf of Ayaka Masada and Jerry and myself, we wanted to thank everyone that participated in the Super Bowl 56 Squares fundraiser. It was a lot of fun. Uh, made it extra special, Mike Judy with the Los Angeles Rams winning the Super Bowl. But the, 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 big, the winners were uh, Yoshi, Yoshi Tachiki for the first quarter. And in the third quarter was Tommy Nakagiri. And the big winner was Kathy Silman, who won not only the second quarter, but she won the end of the game score. So um, if you haven't gotten your winnings yet, uh, please let Gail Sharp or I know we'll make sure that we take care of that. Thank you. Um, I have one announcement. Um, for those of you that were able to join us at Benny's Tacos, um, fundraiser. We did, um, they did send us a check for $275. Um, it wasn't our best fundraiser, but it was the first time that we've done it with Benny's. And I think those of us that were able to enjoy their food uh, did enjoy it. And they did um, offer to uh, host us at in Santa Monica, Westchester and Culver City. And Westchester did the best. They had the most amount of people that uh, did take out that day. So thank you um, to everybody that um, participated. And we'll be doing more in the near future. Thank you. We will conclude this morning with Sayonara, which is on page 62 of the service book, followed by the reading of the benediction. Please stand. <laughs> Service. We will now unmute everyone. Please feel free to talk amongst yourselves. 